Well, both Bristol Rovers and Accrington Stanley secure in mid-table and maybe with one eye on next season already before their meeting here, although Rovers know a win will take them level on points with their visitors. Here's Eckington Stanley looking to launch the first significant attack here, and they do. Very awkward for Scott Bevan as that comes back off his bar and the goalkeeper couldn't be sure where it was going. Options in attack here. It's uh, Jim Patterson who works it out wide. McIntyre and getting the cross in for Matt Harrell to get above his man and guide home the header to give Bristol Rovers the early lead. The top scorer does it again. Matt Harold on target for the 17th time this season. And they lead on 11 minutes. Carry on with a brilliant ball in. And Harold got there first to make it his. Harold's won it back here from Luke Joyce. Sitting off on another of these searching runs. He does have support and then he goes down in the box. And the referee says penalty. Had no hesitation in pointing to the spot. Mustafa Carriol, who made the first goal for Bristol Rovers, may just have made a second here by winning the penalty. The challenge was by Peter Murphy, who claimed he was just standing his ground. Matt Harold to take it, and Matt Harold to score. He and Bristol Rovers have two. With just a shirt over 20 minutes gone. Ian Dunbavin went the right way in the Accrington goal, but couldn't keep this out. 2-0. Carriol is everywhere at the moment. McIntyre trying to make the challenge, but it breaks for Harold. Looks up and dinks in the cross. A fabulous first-time finish from Andy Dorman. Makes it three before the half-hour mark. Bristol Rovers running away with it from the start. Really sweet strike from Dorman. He's signing off in front of the home fans for this season in start. And it's only Dorman's second of this season. Carriol's corner. They're queuing up in the middle. Off the crossbar. And this time just too high. But that could very easily have been number four. McIntyre over the corner. Swings it in. And it's gone all the way in. Bevan got hands to it. But made a bit of a mess of that. And Accrington Stanley have been gifted a goal back before half time. Kevin McIntyre will claim the goal having curled in the corner. Bevan got both hands on it. There was a man on the line as well, but neither could keep it out. It's a good ball. Three for Pordreg Armand, who's around the goalkeeper. But just not enough pace on the shot to beat the covering defender. Armand will have a crack. Reflected here into the path of Micah Evans and brings a fine reflex save from Scott Bevan. And he clips it forward. Carriol with the cross again, and this time the finish is from Matty Lund, who's come off the bench to get the goal for Bristol Rovers and restore their three goal cushion. The online Stoke City man opens his account for the club. Smith who plays it forward. I really want to get the cross in there. Harold lets it run and Lund does the rest. He joins Matt Harold in scoring two for the afternoon. And Bristol Rovers now have five. Well, Lund only signed from Stoke in the new year, extended that deal a couple of months ago. He's had to wait today for his first goal for Rovers. He's got two now in 20 minutes. Some way to end the season in front of their own supporters, Bristol Rovers. who will go to Dagenham and Redbridge on the final day on the back of a thumping win here. They move level on points with Accrington Stanley as a result. Bristol Rovers five, Accrington Stanley one.